I've literally tested more than 10 versions of Phoenix OS and carefully chosen a lightweight version where you won't face any Wi-Fi problems or errors. The standout feature of this Phoenix OS version is its lightweight nature and it provides full support for key mapping. Now, you might be wondering why I am making a video on this topic when many creators have already covered it. Well, my aim is to bring videos on every topic you request, whether it's trending or not. This topic happens to be one of the most requested, so I felt it necessary to create a video on it. Let's get started with the video. Let's roll. As you all know, before proceeding with the installation process, I always show you my PC specifications to assure you that I am indeed testing this program on a low-end PC. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. Guys, you can find the link to download this version of Phoenix OS on my website, and you can easily access the website through the description of my channel. Speaking of its size, it's just 400 MB making it easy to download. Simply double-click on it and launch the installation. After that, you'll see an interface like this. You have the option to install this OS on a USB, but it is recommended to install it on your hard drive. Just click on this option and choose your hard drive. I'll be installing it in a separate partition, but you can install it on drive, see, if you prefer. Now, you need to select the storage space. You can choose up to 32 GB. But keep in mind that the more storage you select, the longer the installation will take. I'll go with just 4 GB to speed up the process. The installation of Phoenix OS has started. Now that Phoenix OS is installed, you can simply click on their Boot Now button. The loading process for Phoenix OS has started. Please wait for it to complete. 2,000 years later. After loading, you'll see an interface like this. Choose the English language, click on Next, and then accept the license agreement. Normally, we face Wi-Fi problems in operating systems like Phoenix OS Prime OS or Remix OS. But in this version of Phoenix OS, you won't encounter any Wi-Fi issues. I don't have Wi-Fi currently, so I'll skip this process. After that, you need to type your username and click on the Finish button. As you can see, Phoenix OS is now installed and running smoothly. First, let's adjust the mouse pointer speed. You can find the option for mouse and trackpad settings in the settings. Click on this option, and here you'll find the mouse and trackpad settings. Adjust the pointer speed according to your preference. If you plan to play Free Fire, I recommend keeping the pointer speed lower. If we talk about the Android version of this operating system, you will find Android 5. In this version of Phoenix OS, you'll have the option of key mapping. Additionally, you'll have support for the Play Store, allowing you to easily download games and other applications. So, let me now demonstrate, starting Windows. To switch to Windows, press the power button on your PC once and choose the restart option. After that, select your Windows from the boot menu. As you can see, Windows is working perfectly. Friends, for today, that's all. I hope you liked the video. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please hit the like button and don't forget to press the subscribe button because we're very close to 1K subscribe. If you have any confusion or issues related to this OS, feel free to contact me on Facebook or Instagram. Also, if you want to install Android 12 on your PC in dual boot, click on the video appearing on the screen, and I'll see you there. Goodbye.